Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I want to share with you about my experience from being laid off to land multiple job offers within two months. I feel this is a good time for me to share more open about it because I know many people face similar struggles. And if you want something or someone to be resonant with in terms of your stress, your anxiety, or lack of confidence, then this video is perfect for you. As some of you may know that I was laid off from my first job in the tech industry in 2019. At the time I got the news from my manager, I was frustrated, I was scared, and I cannot stop doubting myself. But it was that experience that taught me a lot about job searching in the data science field. Today, I want to take the time to dive more into what I went through with being laid off and more importantly, what I learned during that experience that allowed me to turn things around and land my dream job after just two months. For this video, I am going to focus more on the mental struggles that came with being laid off and how I had to work to change my mindset. I found that overcoming myself was the first and the most important challenge in getting through that difficult time. If you want to know more about the exact specifics of what I did to find a job after being laid off, read this blog for the details. There are three important steps and attitudes crucial for job searching after being laid off. Believe in yourself, invest in yourself, and get ready. In fact, I found those steps not only beneficial for job searching after being laid off, but also job search in general. As I worked with more and more people with my one-on-one services, as well as my coaching program, I realized that many people struggle in their job search because they are not ready mentally. So I'm going to break down what each of these means, why they're important, and how you can work to achieve them yourself. It's no secret that losing your job often causes your self-esteem to take a hit. It's easy to start doubting yourself and your capabilities after being laid off. That was where I started after being laid off after a year and a half at the startup. And I'm not the only one. I have a friend who had been working in the tech industry for 10 years when she was laid off early this year. She clearly had experience and was successful in the field, but losing her job still made her question her abilities and expertise. So firstly, a little or a lot of self-doubt after being laid off is completely normal. However, the fact is that being laid off is not the same thing as being fired. People are laid off for a variety of reasons, like budget cuts, relocation, buyouts, and staff reduction. And what do all of those reasons have in common? They are not your fault. Being laid off does not mean that you are bad at your job or there's anything wrong with you. And it's important to realize that as you begin searching for your next job. You have to move past self-doubt if you want to move forward in your career. Why? Applying for jobs is all about selling yourself. If you think you are not good enough, you will not be able to convince the recruiters or hiring managers that you are the best choice. You have to believe in yourself so that the potential employers will believe in you too. This is especially important if you are still relatively inexperienced or trying to break into a new field. You may not have as much experience as others, so you have to be confident that you can learn new things quickly and demonstrate that in interviews to let your potential employers know that you can rise to the challenge. If you're thinking that this sounds a bit cliche so far, know that I'm not saying that you should have false faith in yourself. You can and should build your confidence with real practical steps. You start with believing that you can do it, but then you should earn your own self-confidence. What does that mean? Quite simply, be well prepared for your interviews. Do a ton of practice. That way, when you walk into the real interviews, you have real confidence and a real belief in yourself. You can't fake that level of self-assurance and interviewers will be able to tell. So to summarize, the first thing to do after being laid off is to pick yourself up. Don't blame yourself because it's really not your fault. Now let's talk about how do you practically build your confidence as I was saying. This leads to the second step for changing your mindset when you are laid off. Invest in yourself. It's easy to let time without job being unproductive time, and while there's something to be said for taking a little me time after being laid off, if you don't spend enough time to truly invest in yourself, you're not using your time to make yourself a better candidate. Then you're not getting closer to a better job. Maybe this sounds a little harsh, so think about it in a different way. Learning new skills and improving yourself is never going to be a waste of time, and it helps you become a more competitive candidate. So invest in yourself as soon as you can. But how do you invest in yourself? 
There are a ton of resources available that can teach you new skills and provide you with practice to better your current skills. If you want to know what materials I use specifically when I was laid off, you can find them in this blog post. As important as I believe investing yourself to be when job searching, I'm often a little surprised by people's reluctance to see this as a vital step. I get frequent questions about things like if the book I recommended is really helpful. I understand that people are concerned about wasting their time and money on useless resources. However, failing to invest in yourself at all is, in my opinion, a far big waste. Let's take me as an example. I spent multiple four figures on online courses to gain more technical knowledge and interview skills. I know that seems like a lot, but the knowledge I gained by investing in myself was well worth it. I ended up working for a bad company and doubling my income. The money I spent learning and better myself was nothing compared to the increase in total compensation I received from getting a better job. Of course, money isn't the only thing that often keeps us from investing in ourselves. Time is another major factor. Even when you have been laid off, it can be challenging to carve out the large chunks of time you need to improve yourself. Stress, anxiety, family responsibility, and many other things can keep us from actually sitting down and doing the work. If finding the time to invest yourself is your struggle, I suggest looking for professional help. You could consider hiring a coach to provide the support you need in the process, which can be an effective way for making time. There are also educational organizations such as Gosara and Udacity with courses and the support to make learning easier. So invest in yourself. Don't let the fear of wasting your money and time stop you. I can tell you that the time and money I spent on myself is the best investment I have ever made. I became more confident with my skills and that is critical for me to get a job even better than the one I got let off from. Now, speaking of getting a better job, that brings me to my final point for this video, get ready. After getting laid off, it can be tempting to think that there are no jobs out there. You feel desperate and want to take whatever job you can find. But the fact is, opportunities are abundant. There are jobs out there and what's more, there are better jobs out there. The more important thing is, are you ready for it? Are you ready for the opportunities you can get? So next, I'm going to talk about the best way to get ready for your job search. I find that when it comes to job searching, many people focus on the resume stage. People are constantly asking me, Emma, how do I get more interviews? How do I increase my chance to pass a resume screening? Those are certainly valid concerns but I actually believe there should be a greater focus on the interview to offer stage of job searching rather than the resume stage. Here's why. Resume screening is largely out of our control. There could be other candidates with the exact experience they are looking for. You never know exactly what is going on with the coming at this stage, and you have no idea what the other resumes look like. On top of that, if you focus too much on getting interviews, you won't be spending as much time preparing for interviews. If you're not ready for the interviews, it won't matter how many you get because they will not transfer into offers. Lastly, enhancing your interview skills will also be more effective to your overall mindset in the job search. Even if it's not for the job you want or intend to take, once you successfully pass an interview and get an offer, it will boost your confidence far more than just getting past the resume screening. And that confidence will only help your performance in other interviews. Of course, this does not mean that you should not take resume screening seriously. Fine-tune your resume for each position to optimize your chances and leverage your professional network to get referrals. But after that, I think it's wise to spend the bulk of your energy enhancing your skills so that you can take full advantage of any interview opportunities. Now, to share with you my personal experience, I had received a total of 10 interviews after being laid off and some of those companies decided to move forward with other candidates right after the recruiter phone screen or the technical phone screen. But I got four on-site interviews in total, and I was able to convert all of them to job offers. That's why I believe enhancing your skills and only focusing on things you can control will help you get results faster. So those are my three tips about getting in the right mindset after being laid off. Believe in yourself, invest in yourself, and then get ready for the opportunities that come your way. To be honest, when I lost my job, I was devastated. It was a low point in my career. 
but I changed my attitude. I started hard, invest in myself, and was able to land multiple job offers and join my dream company. I want to use that experience and the practical content to help you land your dream job too. That's why if you haven't already done so, consider subscribing to my channel for practical advice and tips from someone who has been there and wants to help you. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.